Hello, thank you so much for coming to the Sashiko live streaming. This is Otsushi, and this is the live streaming where I talk about Sashiko while doing Sashiko stitching. Let me check the audio. It should be good. Okay. Um, it is Thursday night. As always, I will do the Sashiko stitching while talking about some Sashiko stories. Um, this is not a lecture. This is not a webinar, not a tutorial, so uh, please try not to do the technical questions because I do not, I probably will not answer that questions. Um, instead, I will talk about some cultural stuff. Um, for the technical questions, there are tons of information already on this YouTube videos, sorry, not YouTube channels as well as the website, so please ch check that. Okay, <clears throat> that's about it for the announcement. What else? Oh, I do have some, in, not some, I do have one in-person workshop planned on October, which I will announce a little more, but you can check that from the uh, live streaming description as well. And I will have the monthly gathering toward the end of this month. And it's going to be also available on the description area, so please check that. Whew. Okay, let's start. I will change the camera. There we go. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening and thank you so much for coming from Hong Kong. Candida. What was I gonna do? I am still kind of slow um, in terms of the activities wise like my energy level was quite not yet recovered i think i'm trying well this is not good news i am not how do i say i think i'm not feeling 100 percent recovered for that or <laughs> i may have become a different person i don't know what is going on but it's a little bit different so i don't share as many uh, stories as possible on the Instagram. It's a little bit, everything is a little slow, but I hope that I can catch up at some point. I, I don't remember, I don't have anything specific that I feel quite strange, but something is going on, I guess. And that something is something <laughs> i try to not to comp it's not even complaints it's something is something's going on it's not about you here it's about so something is not right inside of me so everything is kind of slow it's not that I don't do anything or I give up, just something is quite... It's not a wrong, it's not right. I hope it makes sense. It's, 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 I don't feel as natural as I used to be. So... But yeah. Oh, by the way, not a by the way, this is probably kind of going to help a little bit. This, this might help to explain what is going on with me, but um, this weekend, Tuesday, well, I probably should. Is something not right physically or emotionally or both? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I was not okay a month ago emotionally. Physic I sleep a lot and it's not a really a good sign to me. Because I don't really I'm not a sh long sleeper usually so it's something is a little bit weird. Um uh, but I'm trying to kind of get a rhythm I guess that's what's going on. 
I'm trying to find the rhythm. Do I have long COVID? Probably not. I checked it last week. No, this week, the beginning of this week, because uh, one of the co-workers of my wife got a COVID and she took a test and she was negative and I want I just you know jump on that right so it was negative so should be fine I am allowed to feel off no one can be yes so I don't know if it's the status of off or something new coming on but I'm not energetic in terms of like speaking up So let's see what's going on. But um, just a second. Sorry. Um, I think I can get the information here. Um, there will be the series of talk about cultural appropriation, starting from starting on this weekend, and I will get the image just a second. I should have. Oh, 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 oh. There is no uh, no images. Just a second. Okay. This is something I should have done as the beginning of the live stream. Okay, so starting from this weekend, there is a there there is a series of talk about cultural appropriation. Um, the first weekend is um, a talk with Yuki-san. Her Instagram account, my you might know his, I mean, you might know her Instagram account. Uh, it's made by Yuki. I can share that later on. Uh, but I, she invited me to join one of the series. And mine is the first week of September. So Saturday, September 9th is my time. And uh, there will be another person, uh, Emi-san, who is quite um, articulate about this issue. I learned a lot from her so I mean I, I learn a lot from them so if you are interested in this talk this theme please try to get a link it's I think it's for free so this is something going on so probably that's what's going on <laughs> Sometimes it is good to preserve your energy for stitching. That's very really true. I am stitching a lot though. So I think I am trying to. I feel similar to not sick but just tired, not energy. That's really... So it's probably... The world. <laughs> um, not all Japanese, but some of the Japanese, especially like my friends, my mother's friends, my friends, we believe in the sort of the i don't want to say energy movement of the earth uh, but we like there's a flow of the earth or the where the stars are located those kind of spiritual things sometimes we believe that spiritual things and th this month might not be the best time for us to uh, be energetic i don't know i i can try to kind of focus on that and find out what's going on but at the same time it's not I don't have to realize I don't have to explain that so I will probably let it go but one of the explanation is one of the explanation why I don't feel so 100% is that I am probably tired of the conversation of cultural appropriation based on the fact that they, as those people, only read what they want to read. And it is my honor to be part of that talk. But what I would like 
to share on that talk will be something quite dif different from what Yuki-san or Emi-san will share. And I, I confirm that it's okay to do that. Um, but the more I am introduced as the speaker about this topic, the more, I don't want to say ignorant, the more stereotypical reaction I receive about that issue. And I think I'm tired of explaining myself. And they don't, really, they don't, they, like, if they have a disagreement, I understand it. But it's not even a disagreement or even discussion. Just simply they do not read or listen to what I say. And they try to argue based on the word, how the word sounds. It re like f f for example, for example, like this, this is a very um, easy example, very obvious example. But when I make it, I, I have a video about cultural appropriation in Sashiko, right? Cultural appropriation in Sashiko on the YouTube, and that video has extremely two-sided comments. In the comment comment section, there are comments from those who actually listen to that video saying um, they appreciate my perspective about that because they worried about it a bit or they you know they are concerned about that and the other side of the comment is saying that there is no such a thing as cultural appropriation per se like they sort of try to explain how valid they are by not accusing me, but accusing the other people using the other cultures. Using the other culture. Like, for example, me using the them is also a part of the cultural appropriation. And blah, blah, blah. But if they watch that video, I exactly, say, I like specifically, specifically say that there is no such a thing as cultural appropriation in Sashiko, in my understanding. I say that there is no such a thing as cultural appropriation because I don't know it and I don't think culture is something we can appropriate in my understanding but they just don't listen to that instead they just imagine that I what I would be saying in the video and try to defend themselves even though I'm not attacking I'm actually on their side so I probably have to discuss or even argue with those who keep saying speaking up about cultural appropriation my message is quite 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 simple there is no such a thing as cultural appropriation in sashiko and you please call your stitching sashiko if you want to only one condition only one condition one condition if the one condition is met there is no such a thing as cultural appropriation or there is no such as ah, you can call it one thing is that acknowledgement just know just make sure to understand that there are people and stories behind the word sashiko and those stories and word i'm sorry those stories and people are japanese so please don't ignore the voice or practice by the japanese people and that's only things i can say that's the only thing that i feel about that everything else is more more thick so right now unfortunately many i don't want to say many people some people don't know what sashiko is and they don't even know that sashiko is the word from japan they use it as the fashionable word to describe some of the trend and it is okay to you know use the word without knowing it as the first step but when they know that there might be the stories of people behind the word i want them to acknowledge it they don't have to master it they don't have to learn it just acknowledge it but some people ignore that and when they start ignoring the stories of people behind the word then 
then finally that's kind of the start of the issue i don't know if it's called cultural appropriation or something else um, but until that i don't find it an issue but that's only my way to understand this issue because i'm the one who actually usually is the pri pri privileged side so i think i'm getting tired of those people who do not who imagine who ima who makes the enemy even without understanding the, what enemy is the planet we yeah the planet mercury is in <laughs> we're talking well jade you're really good the planet mercury is in retrograde grade it is said that this is associated with the confusion, frustration, feelings of delay. Usually it's a good thing to be introspective at that time. Perfect. So I was right. Okay, so then I... But I think it's... I have to prepare that. I don't have to prepare that. I would like to prepare myself for the dis discussion next month. And it is tiring to talk to somebody who who explain themselves even without even before the actual discussion. Like I'm not asking that. Like, discussion is great after they, you know, they after they understand what my words are. <laughs> we don't have to argue if we are on the same side. But some people really think that by just word itself, they become very defensive. And they don't, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> I used to take it funny, and it's kind of funny to think of that. So, if you could go to the um, YouTube videos, cultural appropriation, Sashiko, please watch it first. Then, if I say something different from what I said today, please let me know, because I don't think I contradict myself. Like, I never ever say that only Japanese people should or can do Sashiko stitching. It's it's not the way it is that that's that i don't believe in that <laughs> culture should change and culture should be adapted to the many cultures and you know we cannot own the culture <laughs> and this might be a little bit of another discussion from the other side of the people but i'm still on the other like you know that matter western side for that matter i guess so please watch that video first and then look at the comments it's very very interesting how human can be i'm sorry to say stupid because just they don't they probably find the video by googling it and they don't probably watch even the first minutes because in the first minutes i say that but they don't watch it and then this this jump on to the comment section saying like well there's no such a thing as cultural appropriation blah blah i said that yeah i said it right now right there didn't you hear that <laughs> so there are two kinds of comments saying like um more like appreciation to my statement for encourage the, encouraging them to enjoy sashiko or angry comments saying there's no such a thing as cultural appropriation ay ay so the Japanese are very, very far from cultural appropriation, although they do sometimes do the cultural appropriation, and I'm sh ashamed of that. It's very embarrassing as a Japanese, but we are very, very left behind to those <coughs> um, sensitive issues, cultural issues, sensitive issues, LGBTQ issues, e equality issues. Um, we are way behind like way 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 behind so i am still learning that so there are yes of course some japanese people are probably appropriate in the culture and i don't think it's a good i don't think it's a good thing 
and I will speak up about it as well. But the only things I can speak up about right now is Sashiko, right? Everything else is something I don't know. So... I'm, I think I'm tired of dealing with those... And ignorant people are not those... <laughs> this is something also I learned. Um, ignorance is the word many people try to defend themselves, right? Uh, that this is something I understand after, you know, after managing, after writing so many stories every day with almost 80,000 people follower, uh, increasing, decreasing, like, like this wave. <laughs> uh, but ignorance is not equal to not knowing. Ignorance is not the status of not knowing. Ignorance is the status of believing that they know everything. Ignorance is the status of not knowing what they don't know. Not knowing, like not knowledgeable, isn't the issue much. Not knowing that they're not knowledgeable is the issue. And I did. I didn't know. No, I like the ignorant itself is very difficult uh, English word to translate to Japanese word. Because if I translate it to Japanese, the first translation is not knowing, or no wisdom, no knowledge, no not knowing is the definition from ignorance. But it's not exactly what it is. Not knowing is actually okay. Because that's just the status. And many people don't know a lot of things. I don't know a lot of things neither. So not knowing itself is okay. I mean, it is recoverable. It's like, you know, we are all students at some point. But I just, getting the understanding of ignorance, it's more bigger issues than not knowing. Yeah, that's so... I still, I still really don't know how one can say that they know about Japanese culture more than I do. I was doing some Sashiko for stage here in Costa Rica. I really wanted to share this story and maybe including a little details about Japanese culture in my creations. I hope no one feels offended. Um, I don't know if somebody else get offended. Might, there might be somebody who get offended, but as long as I know... <laughs> um, this, this is another theory. This, is, this, this will explain a lot of things. If you worry, or if you hope that no one get offended, or if you worry if somebody is offended, don't worry about it. Your worry itself is off often enough, often enough to <laughs> avoid that issue. Like, oh, am I doing something disrespect is already good enough to respect the culture. Because it might not be enough at some point. Um, if it's really big issues, like, for example, like Native Indians and Americans have a very um, long history, right? Of uh, I don't know how to say it. Americans, like U.S. Americans and Native Indians, they have a long history. So let's say that having the Indian costume for the Halloween is the cultural appropriation. So that um, worrying about it is probably not enough. But for Sashiko as Sashiko is not really introduced well. Worrying itself is at this po at this moment at this point is for me enough. It's more like probably relative status because many people even don't worry about it. So one of my old teachers told me when. Uh, 
Jade. One of my old teachers told me whenever he meets a new person, he assumes they are not nice people until they are other people. <laughs> the um, that that's <laughs> I understand that. I mean, I don't. I'm I believe I believe completely opposite. My belief. My belief. Some people are willfully ignorant. They could learn, but they don't want to. I willfully. That that's probably the problem that I'm encouraging. I mean, I'm encountering. That's probably. That is probably the problem. Like willfully ignoring it. Well, I even say that they intentionally ignore it, and that's probably what I'm fighting for. So, we don't have to all agree with one thing, but we probably can agree that there are people behind the world. At least, we can probably wind it back to the fact that Asashiko is, was born in Japan. If they don't agree with that, then that's probably, there's nothing we can discuss. If they think Sashiko was born somewhere else, then probably that's not the same Sashiko we're talking about. Then we shouldn't be having a discussion um but if they if we are all on the same idea same understanding that sashiko was developed in japan sashiko is from japan then all i want is try to learn a little more and try not to be like happy by just showcasing the work of Sashiko and getting the feedback from only the non-Japanese people. That's a little... I, I don't like that. It's like a... I feel like it's a masturbation. Oops. I couldn't... Tay. Cut. <laughs> Cut it. Uh, that's still... Wait, that's over the line. So re rewind it. Please cut it. Uh, don't listen to that. Please don't go back. Uh, just <laughs> ignore that. Woohoo! Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> let's go back to the comments. Uh, that from Sharon. That sounds like a bleak way to live. Oh, to believe that every to assume that every they are not nice people. But there might be less disappointment than if we assume they are nice without the recurring evidence. I haven't found it to be bleak per se. It's nice a surprise to find a nice person versus being disappointed that someone is a jerk. <laughs> Most people tend to be very nice. As a, as a kid, we are taught to not to trust strangers, so I consider it as an extension of them. Um, it can be a surprise. I will, I'll, I'll probably give you a big surprise. So, it's a pretty big discussion in Japanese culture. Seizensetsu, seiaksetsu, shouaksetsu, shesei, ha? Seizensetsu to seiaksetsu te yuke? Are? If you know any Japanese here, please come up. Seiaksetsu? <laughs> There are big two theories. One is that every humans are nice from the nature, as a nature, or decent for that matter, or everybody's evil. Every human beings are evil as nature. So those are two extreme beliefs, and both of them are quite popular popular beliefs. And as long as I know my family friends we i believe do not i believe i still believe that every humans are decent there are reasons that people become nasty or evil or you know not nice but i still have a very strong belief that every humans are decent i mean it doesn't have to be nice but decent. At least not evil. 
and that is probably why I struggle a lot. If I have the little bit of a different background and if I can look at people in a different way, I probably don't have to disappoint this much. Okay, I have to explain. I, I cannot stitch today. Let me explain this. Um, I probably understand that Jade's perspective and I probably should follow that side but there's a big expectation or even like a common things in Sashiko and I keep saying that there's no such a thing as the evil people in Sashiko. I have never ever met anybody evil in the Sashiko stitching. Uh, they don't have to be nice but not evil. Uh, there are tons of weird people, don't get me wrong. There are tons of strange people, weird people, eccentric sometimes, uh, strange, like weird. Wow, strange. In including, including myself, including myself. Uh, those who can stitch for like 10 hours non-stop every day is kind of scary and weird, right? Um, there's many weird people, but there are no single people who is evil and that is very foundation of my belief um, on top of that i believe that every people are decent everyone is decent and on top of that there's no such a evil people in stitching in another in other word evil people cannot be stitching they cannot stitch they can stitch for a short period of time, but they cannot stitch for a long time. They cannot continue stitching for a long time. And I do know why too, because stitching requires, like at least the stitching the way we do it, uh, we stitch hours, like sometimes one hour, sometimes two or three hours. And in those stitching hours, we have to face to ourselves. We might not do it purposefully, but at some point we have to face to ourselves. So we, if we are the evil people, we have to face the evil side of ourselves. And as the result, we kind of have to stop stitching because it's quite agonizing to see myself or ourselves being evil. As the result, by continuing Sashiko, um, even evil people become non-evil. They might start at Sashiko, they, they might have been evil person when they started stitching, but by continuing it, they kind of face themselves and change little by little. And that's my huge belief, and if they continue stitching this much about like this this much amount of stitching for let's say years they have to kind of adjust that and my childhood is around those people again like they're really 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 strange people weird people sometimes they can be mean now nah, they're not nasty but mean <laughs> Uh, mean. Mean is the word for that. But they are not evil. They are mean because they have care. They care about me, that's why they are mean. It does not really, exp you know, it does not really explain much, but no evil people. So when I see those, let's say, evil people in Sashiko stitching, my first interpretation is that, wow, they don't probably stitch. So for those who actually pick a fight or pick argument with me about those things, my first instinct is probably they're not stitching. <laughs> they are they have not probably had a needles for a while and probably they don't stitch. Or they don't like stitching. There are two kinds of people in Sashiko right now, in the big category. 
Uh, one is like us. Weird, but we like stitching itself. We like Sashiko as the stitching. So, regardless of what we get, we would be stitching. Like, for example, even if I don't have the internet tomorrow, I will be stitching regardless. It will be sad, it will be quite sad to not to have this interaction, but that does not change my stitching itself. So that's one, the category, category one, okay. The category two, this is becoming a little bit bigger and might be majority right now. Um, but those are the people who like the outcome Sashiko brings. So they, they, some of them like stitching itself, but they enjoy the result of their stitching that Sashiko brings to them. It can be title, it can be fame, it can be popularities, uh, more customers, more money. You know, there's something else that they like through Sashiko. Um, both of us, both of them, and like both those two groups can say that they like Sashiko. One is liking Sashiko as stitching, one is liking Sashiko as the vehicle to get something else. And the second category, they don't necessarily have to stitch. They might be saying like they stitch, <clears throat> but they can, you know, they like Sashiko, they learn Sashiko, but without stitching they can say they like Sashiko. As the result, uh, I might, I sometimes find evil people and then I get hugely disappointed. Um, but that's kind of the explanation I make to myself to understand what the heck is going on. Because before 2011, 10, I was the one who was very evil. <laughs> I don't want to say I was evil, but I was a very side and very different. From other, I thought every Sashiko stitches are so purely. I don't want to say stupid, but too naive or too pure. And I thought I had to change that to make Sashiko somewhat alive in the future, which I myself proved wrong. That was not the way to go. But because I was one of those who liked something outcome Sashiko can bring, I know that. I can tell what is the, like, who is that and who is not that. Jade, I agree. I don't think there are a lot of evil people, especially in Sashiko. But I also believe there are some very not nice people out there. But I'm pessimist. Well, I really have to learn both <laughs> I think I I met a lot of good people in the beginning so I'm lucky uh, at the same time it's because Sashiko is getting very very popular Sashiko is becoming a big trend many many people get inside of this trend um, it was very small world and then I not many like, think about it. I did not expect that 80,000 people follow what I say. That's not the... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. I mean, if my goal was to increase the followers, yes, probably that's another way to do it. But uh, that's not my goal, and that's not my strategy. I sometimes say don't follow it if you don't like it. Like, if you're not... If you don't like what I say, don't follow it. Just stop. Go somewhere else. So that that's what I did. Just so many people are getting familiar with the word Sashiko. And of course I will get both good and bad. So I have to learn how to be how to be pessimistic for that. How to be ready. And I think that's a skill. And, I, and unfortunately, I'm not... Unfortunately, some of the Sashiko artisans I grew up with will not be able to survive in this 
um, in this kind of system, they are just simply too nice to survive this through, especially the internet. Um, they really, they are so nice, too nice. Um, probably you'll get it at some point. The people in Sashiko are extremely nice. Like you probably find me as a little bit sketchy person. <laughs> huh. Uh, Tsushi is a little too dry. Or oh, he is a bit too... How can I say? He's a little different from others. I think, I believe that even those two weeks that I... The first time I took my friends to Japan, those two weeks, I probably could show how nice they are. The Japanese Sashiko stitches are. They don't have to be nice, but they're just genuinely nice, including my mom. My mother is extremely nice. It's crazy. It's so scary, but... <laughs> She used to give away everything for free. Like, she used to be the, you know, wife of the company's president. So she had some, you know, enough money. So it was somewhat okay to do it back then when the business was okay. But she used to really give away everything. <laughs> no, mom, you don't give away things like that. But that's probably a lot of Sashiko artists and Sashiko stitches are like now too. So, I have to kind of get, not have to, I'd like to be ready, if I have to train myself for that. You get both good and bad comments, but it might help to get better at enjoying the good comments and not get caught up with the ignorant ones. Ah, uh, Susan, that's, that's, yes. <laughs> uh, that is very... Yes, I have no, <laughs> I cannot, there's no word that I can reply to that. <laughs> yes, so, so, so that's, that's, that's really true. But if I can say one word, I'm just too idealist. I am, I f would like to involve everybody. Even with the one who has ignorant comment, I know, I know, I know. Don't, don't, don't say it, uh, don't, please. Um, I know I'm stupid, but that's somewhere. <sighs> I know. But I, I really appreciate those positive comments, though. And I really appreciate that. And I should ignore the stupid one, but that's difficult. <laughs> Most people can survive this level of internet social media exposure, not just the Japanese Sashiko stitches. Probably so, probably so. Just, you know, my world is very really small. I only know, like, I don't really have the co-workers. I don't have any business partners, business, like, co-workers. Uh, my whole life is with my wife, my, my daughter, and you here, or internet, I mean, Instagram or social media, so I have to, not have to, I like to expand it, but sometimes I like to kind of keep this purity as well. I don't want to say call, I don't want to call myself pure, but um, that's probably one way to do that. I am... Um, Thank you, Sharon. I think I'm nice enough to try to care a lot. I cannot ignore the ignorance. <laughs> That's the same as the comments back to Susan. I know what I have to do, but I think I... It's, it's not my first choice yet. It might be at some point, but... 
Because Sashiko is now getting popular in English, I'd like them to know what really is. And, you know, it's nice. It, it will be much more fun than just showing off what they do. I mean, you know, result is great, and what they make is great, and showing off is great, showcasing it great, receiving a good superficial saying like, wow, that's, be that's pretty, that's beautiful, it's great. But there's a little more than that. So... Well, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, but do you, I, I think I'm explaining why I'm kind of not in the high energy right now. I am going to jump into that, like a snake pit. I don't want to say snake pit, but <laughs> this like a weekend talk is titles about cultural appreciation versus cultural appropriation. There might be somebody who don't really know what's going on with me or they might be a lot of I don't know who are gonna who are going to be there. If they are the majority of listeners are the fan of Yuki san or Emi san, they will care a lot. They might be a little bit unhappy how non aggressive I am. Because I, I, I said there's no such a thing as cultural profession in Sashiko. So that, they might not like it. But I can explain. I can explain why. Or... I don't know. I know I'm more than little... Ske Ske sketchy <laughs> Good night Jade um, I may have used the word sketchy without knowing what's going on What does it sketchy means? I will just google it to sketchy I think what I mean Sketchy Sketchy. Sketchy. <laughs> Sketchy is the word to describe something. S something not complete. It's like, in my understanding, kind of <laughs> it, uh, sketchy is sketchy, right? Sketchy is um, ske what is sketchy? How do you explain sketchy? Unknown. Unknown is the one. <laughs> Sketch is the person that may or may not be too up to up nose. Good. Someone you need to keep eye on. Ah. Okay. So if I say like yeah, the, the, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think my understanding was not that far from it. I think of it as someone or some who is not quite trustworthy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Person who is dishonest or dis dis disreputable. You would say he looks a little bit sketchy. Keep an eye on him. Ah. I probably didn't use the word right away. But I could be sketchy, right? Sometimes, no? Maybe? <laughs> English is so difficult. If like if someone walk into a store with a big empty tote bag, they look sketchy because they're probably going to the shoplift. <laughs> okay. 
So that kind of not trustworthy word. So they're not bad, but they look a little skeptical, I guess. Keep the music. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep them guessing. Okay, that's a good way to do that. Too. Well, keep them guessing. I don't have to hurry the change, so it is okay <laughs> not to articulate anything. Like you know, I can, as everybody said, I can be little empty on, on fuel I don't have to you know it's it's not like I, I'm, it's not like I have to do it right now or speed is not that important in this Sashiko like you know many people can stitch very fast but speed is not the key of su success it's very very different things from the other things in in today's society right now in the long run um, if we think about this in long run, I don't even probably have to do what I'm doing right now because I don't think I, I this is kind of like guessing. Ninety nine percent of the people who think they like Sashiko or who say they like Sashiko, they won't be there in ten years. They it, it's it's easy to continue stitching for years when they get it the kind of their own thing but as long as they're looking for the answer it will be tiring at some point like if they don't have to look for the answer then of course they can stitch for their own entire life but if they have to follow somebody's answer then it, uh, at least I don't think I can continue stitching if I have to follow somebody's answer or somebody's definition for this. It's just too much of the work. A negative feeling one has toward someone something they would describe as a risky, <laughs> scary, or uninviting. Woohoo! It's getting more, more sketchier. More sketchy, more scary. Sketchy is used to describe what someone with questionable morals or values. <laughs> okay, I have to be careful with this word. I will not use this word so often. But and sometimes I think it's a good word to contrast what I'm saying. I did not mean to call you <laughs> sketch is a weird word. It does not translate well. Same with trash. I didn't. I don't use trashy. Trashy is a little scary for me to use. It is one thing to say a friend is acting sketchy, but much worse to say a stranger is sketchy. Oh. So it depends on who I am using too. So if I said I'm a sketchy guy, it's probably. It can be taken as the humbleness-ish. Like I am saying, like, I don't trust me. It's kind of, you know, don't trust what I say 100%. Like I can be wrong. But if I say to somebody else that I don't know at all, he's sketchy, it can be interpreted differently. That is a very good way to describe it. So, in order to use the sketchy, the word sketchy in appropriate situation, on top of that definition, we have to understand the situations, like who I am using to or where I am using to. And that is kind of the important, this is very important. That's kind of common things for the English speaker, right? I guess, I hope. But nobody explains that very well to foreigners, non-English non speakers, about this word, sketchy. That you are on the same page. 
the same thing exists in Japanese as well, in Sashiko as well. That's why there's a lot more than what is introduced in English about Sashiko. Like learning the word sketchy on the Instagram, not Instagram, on the dictionary itself is not enough to teach the word sketchy in the cultural context. Does it make sense? Um, one can learn the word sketchy by reading the definitions on the encyclopedia or even like using the word in the sentence as the sample. But if that person is about to teach what it means in the cultural context, this much understanding is needed. That's why it is very challenging to teach some foreign language. And that goes to Sushiko as well. And there's so much things are missing in English, in Sashiko. There's so much things missing in Sashiko introduced in English. Unfortunately, I don't have a word to explain what is missing in one word. But everything I do here, including the, you know, social media, is the way to introduce what is missing. So, it's gonna take some time. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon, you have to farm chill. Wow, it's another hour. Yes, I, should I thread it? I wasn't planning, but as I thread it, I will finish this much thread and I will go, but Thank you so much. I don't I don't like ending the stitching with this thread on the needle. So I will do one more one more strings of running stitch. Yeah, this was a very good discussion. Thank you so much for everybody coming. Um if you're watching this as the archive and if you'd like to uh, if you have any topic for me to discuss, please let me know. Uh, question is welcome to us. Huh? Sorry. Question is appreciated because I can elaborate <laughs> the story. Sometimes I might stop stitching and so it kind of ruined the whole purpose, but it's okay. This is a good way to um, understand. So, if you're watching this as the archive, please leave the comment, and I will do the live streaming every Thursday night, uh, sometimes a little bit more than one hour, uh, sometimes maybe less than, but I try to do more than one hour, and I hope this will be a good foundation to share what Sashiko is. I will finish this one string, and then... Good night, good night, good night. Oh, everybody's going it already. <laughs> I didn't say I'm gonna stop it. But... I really don't like ending the. I, I'm gonna go to sleep after this, so I don't wanna. I don't wanna end today's stitching with the thread on the needle. But many people have their own like rules like rules i guess or custom routine some people like some people like the thread on the needles for tomorrow's work uh some people like opposite like me no thread on the needles when they complete their work And it's kind of nice to have that uh, routine too. It's you will start 
by, by having a routine, uh, you will start using your body instead of your mind. I sometimes say this to the students when I teach, either in person or workshop, but many people now in today's world, they stitch from mind too much. They use their mind way too much. They think a lot. And... I mean, there's nothing wrong with thinking, but thinking and doing, stitching from thinking is not the whole picture of Sashiko. So it is quite important to be able to do stitch without thinking, like body stitch by itself without even thinking about it. And it's, it's easy to say, and it's kind of difficult. It's pretty challenging to uh, apply the daily stitching. But one way to do that is to have some certain rituals. Uh, we might call it rules, but it's not like a right or wrong rules. It's like a rules for yourself. That helps. So one, one of the rules I have is to not to leave this thread on when I finished stitching for that day. And again, it can be completely opposite too. As Susan said right now, she likes the thread on the needle so that I don't lose the needle. <laughs> you scared me about needles that I need to appreciate them. Well, I mean, you don't need to appreciate it, but I want you to appreciate it. You know, as the business person, somebody losing the needle is a good thing because they have they're gonna need to purchase more. But you know, don't worry, like don't don't worry too much about it. We all lose needle at some point. I just don't want to encourage them to lose it. We we lose it, and like it it's, it it happens. It's not like you know punishment or something. It's just. You know, <laughs> it's not a punishment at all. It's just how the job, how I was trained. There we go. That's probably how I was trained as a kid. And if you think that having thread on the needle is a good way to appreciate the needle, that's perfectly fine. There's no problem with that. Ah, this is my explain though. So, I we were doing the sashiko as the business, right? So, we make let's say we make a cushion, pink or cushion, cushion like a cushion for the sofa. Uh, the worst case scenario we can think of as the manufacturer is to keep the needles inside of the sofa and sell it. We had insurance for that, and like. We have to always careful. Well, like we have a, those metal detectors, and we had a two people. We had to repeat uh, scanning it at least twice because it can be quite dangerous to have needles um, in the product. What if the a child touched that? So in my Family is those, it's not a studio, most studio. The numbers of needles were very, very strictly managed. On top of the needle, like metal detectors, needles number were very, very strictly controlled. And I think it's, you know, understandable as a professional. So that's why I have that as like my, well, it explains that I was in that. <laughs> mission. I'm not bluffing that. Okay. Not scared. I appreciate them, but I. Don't... 
So one on the thread I can stick the needle with my fabric and I know where it is because of the fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just make your own rules and then that's what's gonna make it better. That's what makes me happy too. Okay, um thank you so much for coming to the Sashiko live streaming on Thursday night. Uh, I really appreciate the discussion today. I did not stitch much because I had to kind of you know use my brain, which I don't do well with stitching so i will come back to the same time um i was not feeling i was feeling a little low but i'm feeling a little better now so that's really this live streaming is a really good way to lift me up, lift myself up a little bit um but anyway i hope you have a good night uh, on the east side it's time to go to bed so i hope you will have a good night and i will 